Wonder. Wonder. Counting stars. Bam, man, on that power. Better than you, Louis Vuitton. You, Louis Vuitton. Counting stars. Hey guys, it's Dion. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I've been studying in Korea for the past three months. And for those of you guys who have been here for a while, I know, I know, it's so long overdue, but I figured better late than never, especially since I'm leaving in the next couple of weeks. So I currently stay on campus. I study at George Mason Korea, but the campus is called Incheon Global Campus or IGC for short. It's composed of Gantt, Utah, SUNY, and like, I think those are all the schools. I hope I'm not forgetting a school, but oh yeah, FIT. I cannot forget FIT. That's the fashion school, chef's kiss, but um, basically we all live in like the dorms on the campus, um, our schools are on the campus as well so it's like five minute walking distance to class. If you decide to stay on campus you have two choices, you can either stay in a single dorm or a double dorm. I chose single because I know I was gonna buy a lot of stuff and I wanted to decorate it like the way I wanted to. I didn't do too much but I mostly figured I was gonna buy a lot of stuff. The double dorms are bigger because they fit two people. It really just depends on how you decorate it and how you organize everything. So for those of you guys who are coming next semester or the next few semesters or maybe 10 years from now, I hope you watch this video and you're able to get some decoration idea, maybe see how much things have changed since like I made this, which is 2022. Um, but yeah, this is how I did my dorm. This is how I organized it and this is my dorm. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I stay on the 13th floor. I can see Triple Street from here. Um, here's my room. All right, so here is my room. So this is the entrance of my dorm. Um, every single dorm and double dorm, they all have like a mirror when you first walk in. So what I did is I put some like little shrubbery here to make it feel a little more like welcoming and like, okay, this is a nice vibey place, you know. Um, I have hand sanitizer here, mouthwash. I usually use these when I first come in because COVID and I'll use hand sanitizer if like I have guests coming in my room. And then what I did is I put some more like antibacterial wipes because germaphobe life <laughs> and some alcohol wipes. So the next we have this little um, cupboard thingy. You put your shoes in it, but I've seen people put like other things in there. So there's your little shoe cupboard, cubby. And then next, here's some more shoes. Um, I will advise if you're here, bring Crocs for sure. Don't wear these too much, they hurt your feet because you're going to be walking a lot if it's your first time abroad. Doc Martens hurt your feet, but they're cute. <laughs> so but yeah, I wear these when I dance. All right, so next let's move on to the rest of the dorm. I got this cute little rug from Home Home Plus. Home Plus. It was like maybe like 10,000 won, something like that. But I thought it was so cute, so I had to buy it. But this is the bathroom. It's once again a open wet bath as you've seen in my previous vlogs. Here's me. We have the little rack where I put my towels and my jacket. Another mirror. I put face towels here, makeup removing towels. Here's my skincare stuff. Um, here's the shower itself. This has to be replaced, but um, if you are studying abroad or coming to Korea in general, it's advised to get a shower filter because the water is too harsh and some people like their hair will fall out or their skin is just too sensitive. Mine, my skin is too sensitive, but yeah, it's like $5 to get these at Daiso. I haven't gotten one because I've been on vacation for the past like two weeks, so I haven't really been in my dorm. But shower filter, $5. So yeah, as you can tell, it is pretty small dorm, but um, I think it's quite comfortable. On to the next part of the dorm. It is pretty small, but it's homey and comfortable to me. So next trash can, nothing too amusing about that. Um, I would advise for everybody coming here to get one of these little drying racks because the dryers, they don't dry like they do in America from what I've noticed. And like, also when you're on campus, um, it can be a little hard to wash your clothes and dry. So I just got a drying mat to just dry it. And it also preserves your clothes for longer. So that's really fun. Um, souvenirs, um, I just got 
call me if you get lost on vinyl, a gift for a very special someone. And then next, I got a refrigerator. So the dorms do not come with refrigerators. I had to buy this one myself. I bought it off of somebody, but you can buy them at Home Plus or at any of the stores nearby. I would definitely invest in these if you're gonna use it because I bought it and I used it maybe like four times. <laughs> but um, it's very helpful if you eat on campus or like you're eating in your dorm or like you just have stuff you wanna preserve. I've only used it to preserve takeout because um, I don't really cook while I'm here, but I do have like ramen here just in case like I can't ever cook. All right, and the next is my refrigerator itself. Nothing really much in there. I barely use it. So there's that. So yeah, my homey corner. All right, and next is arguably my favorite part of my dorm, which is my desk. Um, ignore my little Snorlax donut I was munching on, but I just love how I have it. I love Karomi. I love pink. So everything here is like pink themed. I have pictures on my wall right here. And then I have this right here, which is my favorite thing. But I'll get into that a little later. So first, let's start off with like, I guess, healthcare and stuff. What I did is I put all my skincare right here, my toners, my perfume. I'm missing a lot of things right now because I just came back from Jeju. So I haven't unpacked everything, but lotions, vitamins, vitamin E's, all that fun stuff is right there. And next we'll go up a row. I have my Korean textbook, my Junjito series, which I love Junjito, some alcohol, um, Febreze, and then a little Brita filter and all my palettes up there. I only brought little palettes, so they're more portable, but there's that. I don't know, this is kind of like a random corner. It has my jewelry, like, it has like jewelry, Q-tips, health, more health stuff. Next are these little drawers. They have mostly like makeup and stuff. Like I said, it's very empty right now, so I haven't unpacked everything. All right, and then more health stuff. These are like hand sanitizers. And then down here, I have my little stress ball that I use whenever I'm stressed, especially on the planes, because I don't like planes. I have a stack of envelopes. Um, I try to do the money system where I spend like a certain amount of day. It didn't work very well, so I have a stack of envelopes now. Uh, calculator, uh, SD cards, all that fun stuff. I just put like homeworks and stuff in there, hand sanitizer, masks. This one I have some like eyelashes and stuff. Oh, uh, this is like my travel stuff, so they're like little wipes you can wet that get like they expand when they get wet last we have my little hair care um drawer i have a bunch of combs you know need lots of combs right, so that is it for inside of the drawers uh nothing too special it's not that organized especially since i'm leaving in a couple of weeks but um there's a lot of space to put whatever you need in them i put my hair stuff at the bottom i have like a blow dryer flat iron right here i have more of my travel stuff which is like wipes just things i can take to go so here's another one of my favorite shelves. It is my camera shelf. It has my Sony, which is my baby. It has my Canon T6i Rebel. And then I have a little Kodak camera, which I have to get developed at some point. And like, I just have like coins there just for whenever I go to Coin Norebang. All right, so next is like my little play corner. Um, I honestly have only used this like three times since I've been here. So I probably shouldn't have brought it, but it's a fun conversation piece. And like, I also like to let my friends play it whenever they come over my dorm or like we'll go out and play it together. But I have my BTS Uno cards and my Switch. And I have my Stray Kids little clapper thing they gave us at the concert. So up here, I call this my gift corner or just things I just can't fit on my shelves. But everything in that little pink basket are like gifts for friends, family etc. I have little shot glasses for friends and family. I just went shopping the other day in my last vlog and I got a perfume from Born to Stand Out. And then right there we just have more wipes. And the last little black bag is my GoPro bag with all my hard drives in it. So next is my favorite part of my room which is my photo wall. Um, I could list out all the people I hung out with here but it would be so long because I typically do these almost every day, but I would definitely advise doing photo booths when you come to Korea if it's your first time because they're just great tangible memories. You can always take photos on your phone, but it's just having it, it's, 
it's an experience itself and like posing getting little props like here i went to uh, a palace and i wore a hanbok and we did photo booth my friend was with me actually let's see if i could find him oh yeah here he is so yeah he's right there he wore his little outfit and so yeah we just kind of did these So next here is my closet. Uh, it expands like this, so you still have a lot of space for the most part, but I put one of my little to-go bags there. Um, I have all my clothes, well not all of them. There's still a lot that I didn't unpack, but basically everything that's loose here is in my suitcase. I have so many clothes that I had to do this actually. I had to layer my clothes down here and up here so the cool thing is you do get like a little shelf up there it's very spacious um believe it or not the jackets that are up there aren't even taking up all the space it can fill i put them halfway there because i use those jackets daily but i have all my hoodies up there i have my line jacket up there and i also have just little sweaters and stuff here i have hangers your dorms do not come with hangers so i would definitely advise going to daiso they're like a dollar or like three dollars if anything but you get like a whole pack so i have my winter clothes which i only wore for like two weeks maybe and then down here i put just t-shirts and stuff and like pajamas skirts things that can't be hung or i don't want to hang so right here is more personal drawer we have like undies socks etc hats bras back there but i got these little organizers so that everything can stay organized i'm a neat freak so I like having little compartments and then next is my pant and like skirt drawer not everything is in here once again but typically it's filled all the way to the top it fits a lot of pants I have about like maybe four pair of pants stacked up and there's still a lot of room so yeah here's the wide view of the shelves All right, so next we'll move on to like my bed. I got these really cute Hello Kitty blankets from Home Plus. They were so cute. I had to get it. I love Hello Kitty, I love pink. And I brought this blanket from home, but I kind of use it as a pillow because it's super comfortable. I have some Kleenexes up there, like just wipes. Some more water because I love water. And I got this cute, 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 cute alien buddy from Toy Story from Daiso. It was like $5. Um, under here, I have my little book. I have my Kindle. I read here occasionally. Retainer, some notes from school. I have the Bible. And this is all situated on like this shelf I got from Daiso. It was like $5. But you can take it down and use it as like a computer stand or like a picnic stand. Okay, so going down, we have some more caddies, some more compartments. Um, there's a lot. Oh, my knees are gonna crack. There we go. Okay, so like I said, I don't really eat too much in my dorm, but when I do, here's some snacks I have. I have a lot of rice. I brought tahine from Virginia. Um, I have down here some, uh, what is it? Chapche, Skittles and stuff because I do get sugar crazy. And then next down here, I have some like, some more plastic bags for like trash and stuff or just things I can just use to bring back whatever snacks I buy at the store. And I have forks and some food compartments. So here's the bed right here. It's about a twin size. Um, this is how it looks like close to the desk, but it has a lot of storage, especially underneath. What I've seen is some people will take this little drawer out and they'll put it right up here and put shelves in it. I think that's really neat, but I personally like it under here because I just feel like you can just push it in and out and I don't really use too much of this stuff often. All right, so this is the inside of my drawer. I have everything compartmentalized. We have stuff right here that I might need in the event I get sick, such as Benadryl, Tylenol, Dayquil, etc. Um, we have my hot girl stomach issue medicine and my inhaler, a contacts right here, 
right here we have masks i wanted to put all my mask under here and especially in one big container because i just think it looks neater and it's just one thing i just grab and kind of go but i have all my mask right here we have tissue and we have detergent stuff like that um cleaning gel it's kind of random in that drawer and then here we have you know girl stuff so yeah this is my drawer my compartments and then under here we have like my suitcase and everything um it's really wide i don't know if i can show you here let me try all dorms do come with this big 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 suitcase holder um that one actually has another suitcase inside of it and this one's pretty big i'd say it's about like maybe hmm, three feet four feet i'm not really good at measurements but it's pretty big and wide and i was scared it wasn't gonna fit in here but it did and there's still some space for more stuff so i'm pretty satisfied so don't worry about suitcases i would say like of course measure you don't want it too too big but this is like a giant suitcase it might almost be a little too like thick but other than that um it fits so there's that all right and then here's my window or my view every morning all windows open all the way so you can just you know put your phone out there <laughs> i tend not to because i am on the 13th floor but that's the guy's dorm right across right here we have dorm a which is the um, double dormitories and the cafeteria is right downstairs but on my windowsill i think these are so cute i got these little babies they're called sunny angels um kind of growing little army i only came here with one and now i have so many so let's see how much they grow by the time i get back but yeah this is my view we have the little drawstring curtain and then here's the other window, nothing too special, but yeah, this is how my view looks like. All right guys, so that is it for my dorm tour. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope it piqued your curiosity seeing like how my room looked like. I hope that it gave you design ideas because I'm sure you guys can do a way better job than I did. Not everything is laid out like they, it was before because I am leaving soon so I've already started the packing process and I've been on vacation. But that's pretty much an outline of how I had everything kind of arranged while I've been here. But I would definitely, definitely encourage you all to buy drying racks, hangers, maybe a fridge if you don't want to eat out a lot. But yeah you will not regret it especially with the drying rack if you have any questions feel free to comment them in the comment section i will be answering or follow me on instagram you can shoot me a dm there thanks for watching